To recap, 10 persons have been arrested and charged. They hold employment passes and dependence passes. At the time of their applications, none of them were on Interpol's red notice. As I updated earlier, police has been casting its net much wider than these 10. Investigations are ongoing and many persons have been interviewed, and more will be. They include Singaporeans, permanent residents, and those on different types of immigration passes. Anyone who is found complicit in the wrongdoing after ongoing investigations will be dealt with in accordance with the law, regardless of their immigration status or whether they are Singapore citizens.